Welcome to Marvel TLDR, the series where we break down Marvel's greatest story so you can jump right in and read the original adventures. Today's story is Spider-Verse. Now to understand this story, we're gonna need to do a rundown of a few key spider people from other dimensions. Miles Morales is the Spider-Man of the Ultimate Comics universe. In Miles' world, Peter Parker died heroically, and after his death, Miles took up the mantle of Spider-Man to keep the world's greatest hero alive. Mayday Parker is the daughter of Peter Parker and Mary Jane from an alternate universe. Like her dad, she has spider powers and uses them to fight crime as Spider-Girl. The superior Spider-Man is actually Otto Octavius. A few years ago, Dr. Octopus took over Spider-Man's body. He was going to use it for evil, but then saw Peter's memories and decided to be good instead, albeit in a villainous way. Peter has since regained control of his own body. Silk is a young woman who was bitten by the same spider that bit Peter Parker. She was locked in a vault to be protected from this story's villains, the Inheritors, and she spent her whole life training to use her powers. Peter eventually found the vault and let Silk out, but because they have matching pheromones, the two of them are always making out whenever they're together. Kane is an angsty clone of Peter Parker. How did Peter get a clone? Well, we won't get into that, because it's a complicated web of a lot of different stuff. Spider-Man 2099 is Miguel O'Hara, a scientist from the year 2099. Miguel gave himself spider powers while trying to create a hero similar to the Spider-Man of the past. Now let's dive right into the story. During his time as Spider-Man, Otto Octavius traveled across time and dimensions. During these adventures, he learns about the Inheritors, a family of dimension-hopping vampires who feed on beings with spider powers. They do this because of the Master Weaver, a naked dude in a spider machine who spins a web of fate that holds reality together. The Inheritors have enslaved the Master Weaver, and he tells them that a bunch of spider people will eventually destroy them if they don't kill the spider people first. To stop the Inheritors, Otto begins jumping dimensions to form a spider army. Meanwhile, another group of spider people all go to recruit Peter Parker from the 616 universe because he's the only Spider-Man to ever defeat the Inheritor called Morlun. Peter takes his spider team to meet up with Otto's spider team, but suddenly the Inheritor Deimos attacks them. Otto kills Deimos and then the spider army retreats because more Inheritors are on the way. The spider army goes to Earth-13 which is protected by a cosmic Spider-Man. His powers are so great that even the Inheritors are too scared to attack. The army plans a counterattack and then splits up into teams. Spider-Man 2099 travels to the future with a six-armed Spider-Man and the steampunk Lady Spider to analyze Deimos' corpse and look for weaknesses. Miles Morales takes the Spider-Man from the modern TV cartoons and runs off to recruit more Spider-Men, starting with the Spider-Man from the 60s cartoon. His team also finds a talking spider buggy that they go joyriding in. Kane and a few other spider clones travel to an alternate Earth where the inheritor Genic has a cloning factory. This factory provides his family with new bodies for their souls to flee into even if they are killed. So quickly runs off on her own to act as a decoy because the Inheritors seem especially interested in capturing her. Spider-Woman chases after Silk to make sure she doesn't get into too much trouble. Meanwhile, Peter Parker and Otto Octavius fight over who gets to be the leader of the Spider Army. Peter kicks Otto's tuchus, but the safe zone is compromised when the father of the Inheritors, Soulless, shows up. Cosmic Spider-Man's powers are derived from pure life force, so he's actually the heartiest meal the Inheritors can eat. And Soulless is hungry, so Cosmic Spider-Man becomes Cosmic Snack Man. Then, the Inheritors kidnap Mayday Parker's baby brother Benji, and with Cosmic Spider-Man dead, all hope seems lost. Suddenly, a few Spider-Women show up with the live-action Japanese Spider-Man and his giant robot Leopardon. The robot attacks Solus in all of its glory, and then gets torn to pieces. The Spider Army runs away. Spider-Woman has infiltrated the Inheritor's base by pretending to be a concubine, and meets the Master Weaver, who, in a small act of rebellion, gives her some magic scrolls that she teleports to Peter Parker. Silk finds a nuclear wasteland that the Inheritors can't survive in, so the Spider-Army uses this world as their new base of operations. They find a fallout shelter that's home to the last man alive on Earth, the Spider-Man of this world, Uncle Ben Parker. After the death of his family, Ben gave up on being a superhero and failed to stop Dr. Octopus from turning the world into an irradiated wasteland. The magical Spider-Girl, Anya Corazon, reads the scrolls, which reveal that Benji, Silk, and Kane form a magic trio. If their blood is collected and spilled on the web of destiny, every Spider-Person will die, destroying the one thing prophesied to kill the Inheritors. The clone team destroys the clone factory and kills Jenik. Kane becomes so angry that he turns into a giant spider monster and goes on a rampage in the Inheritor's world. He savagely kills Solus, and Morlun savagely kills Kane and collects his blood for the ritual. Silk also goes to the Inheritor world but gets captured. Now the Inheritors have Silk, Benji, and the blood of Kane, everything they need to complete their ritual. The spider army makes their final assault. Peter leads his team into battle, and then Miles Morales shows up with his recruits. Spider UK has also recruited Karn, the estranged member of the Inheritors, to fight on the side of the spiders. Uncle Ben and Spider-Ham, the talking pig Spider-Man, manage to save baby Benji, disrupting the ritual. Spider-Man 2099 and Lady Spider show up to the fight with Japanese Spider-Man's mech repair. All these reinforcements mean one thing. The Inheritors are doomed. 
The spider army wipes the floor with the inheritors and then throws them into the radioactive world. The spider people are victorious. But in the aftermath of the victory, there's trouble amongst the spiders. During the battle, Superior Spider-Man decided to literally end destiny by killing the Master Weaver and cutting up the great web of life and destiny. Peter beats up Otto again and sends him back in time with no memory of what happened. And then Karn takes the place of the Master Weaver to repair the great web. Uncle Ben goes to Mayday's dimension to be part of the family again, and all the other spiders go home to happy endings. Except Spider UK, whose dimension was destroyed as part of the build-up to Secret Wars. But hey, it's not a Spider-Man story if someone doesn't suffer, right? Thanks for watching this video. Read the original Spider-Verse saga on Marvel Unlimited. On the Marvel Comics app, or in graphic novel edition wherever comics are sold.